Geo-information is essential nowadays and used in many applications in the field of civil engineering and earth sciences. The master program Geomatics at Delft University of Technology is all about the science and technology of 3D acquisition, processing and application of geo-information. During the two-year program, every aspect of this chain will be looked at in detail. In the acquisition phase, you will develop data acquisition techniques. You will use data from satellites or laser scanning, for example. This data must then be processed so that it can be used in products such as car navigation systems and Google Earth. But geo-information is also used for decision-making applications. The Geomatics program is taught in English and is very internationally oriented. In the first year, you will follow courses that cover the many different aspects of geomatics, which provides you with a solid theoretical background. At the same time, you will put this knowledge into practice in small project groups, where you work together on real-life cases. I enjoyed studying geomatics very much. It's a dynamic field of study and the quality of education is high. You will follow interesting lectures with subjects that combine earth, mathematics, information science and you will also use the GeoLab, an advanced computer room with high-tech hardware and software facilities. In the second year, all students will participate in a synthesis project. Each team consists of about five students who will cooperate in a project for 10 weeks. Many aspects you learn during the first year are combined in the project. An example is the Geofort project. As part of this project, students created a 3D model of the interior and exterior of a fortress by means of different measurement techniques. The synthesis project gives students the opportunity to experience a real-life work environment. In the second year, students can choose to do an internship. The internship can be carried out anywhere in the world. I'm going to do an internship in Texas at the Center for Space Research. My internship is carried out at Norwood, a research organization of the University in Tromsø, Norway. The master program is concluded with an individual graduation project. In one of the thesis projects, laser scanning was applied to monitor the Heinenort tunnel. It is the first tunnel in the Netherlands that was actually drilled through the unstable Dutch soil under a river. Many people don't realize it, but geo-information is of great importance to our society and widely used to make processes run smoothly. It is used by the Port of Rotterdam Authority in their main business processes to ensure efficient and safe handling of shipping in the port, the leasing of land and development of infrastructure. Geo-information is also used for surveying the depth of the water to monitor whether or not dredging of the harbor is necessary. GPS data, sounding data and topographic information are used in this process. Recent natural and industrial disasters have demonstrated that the use of geo-information is increasing in all kinds of systems to face man-made and natural hazards. Coastal flood risk maps can be made for tsunami risk areas by making use of aerial photographs, surveying and leveling of the area. These maps help predict how often an earthquake triggering a tsunami occurs and it also indicates in which direction people should be evacuated. Crisis response is the most extreme phase in disaster management. Time is critical, dynamics of events is very high, um, infrastructure can be completely or partially destroyed. All these characteristics pose great challenges to geo-information professionals in providing the right information to the right people. Satellites can be used to monitor deformations of the Earth's surface. And our geomatic students are using these kind of measurements to monitor all kinds of deformations, for example, volcanic eruptions. They're also using it to monitor deformation of infrastructure, such as dikes. And in fact, when they looked at one of the dikes in the Netherlands, the Offslide dike, they found a crack in one of these locks. And it is quite astonishing that we can measure these kind of things from 800 kilometers altitude. Examples of other areas in which geomatics knowledge is applied are the controlling of oil pipelines, the design of car navigation systems, the monitoring of road construction works, and in archaeological research. Geomatics graduates have a qualification in a very new, exciting and modern field of expertise. 
They have many excellent career opportunities in a job market with an increasing number of vacancies in the Netherlands and abroad. Our graduates find positions in ministries and local government, in industrial companies and consultancy and research organizations. They work for businesses such as Shell, Leica, Grondmei and Fugro. After my graduation, I started working at Fugro. At Fugro, we collect and interpret data related to the Earth's surface and the soils beneath. We provide advice for purposes related to the oil and gas, the mining and construction industry and operate around the world. Fugro also owns a system that sends GPS corrections to users all over the world. This is the control center of the system, where we can follow the current status. I use the knowledge that I gained at my Master Geomatics in my daily work at the Research and Development Group. I try to improve existing technologies and processes by inventing and developing new software that is used by the land surveyors in their daily work. Geomatics is a challenging master program with the Earth as your work territory. It's a broad field of study with many aspects and applications that are of great importance to our society. And this is a nice student town to live in too. The Geomatics Master Program at Delft University of Technology educates interdisciplinary engineers who will contribute to the entire geoinformation chain. Geoinformation is now widely used and of increasing importance. Your possibilities are boundless. Geomatics graduates can make a real difference.